Well, you've heard it. If you listen to this segment on a regular basis, the police chief and others have stood in this very room and said that the uh, heroin overdose epidemic we have here could be tackled better if there were to be a recovery center open in Battle Creek. Happy to tell you, one opened last week under the auspices of the Summit Point organization, of course, open now at 215 East Roosevelt Avenue in Battle Creek. And we're going to spend a few minutes talking with some folks that are making that happen. Shannon Roberts is here, a psychologist and addiction professional with the Summit Point Recovery Center. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here today. Glad to be here. Loretta Robb and Ron Henson are here, both recovery coaches at the Summit Point Recovery Center. We welcome the both of you, too. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Let's, uh, Let's just talk about what a recovery center is, first of all, and what do you intend to do? Shannon, we'll start with you. Okay, a recovery center. What... Ours looks like, Richard, is a non-medical facility. Okay. So we, we want to get that word out first and foremost. We do not have medical professionals there. It is designed, however, to assist individuals under the influence of substances with social detox, with the coordination and linkage of services after they come down to get them on a continuation, Mm -hmm. so to get them on their journey. We have staffed this with recovery coaches, clinicians, case managers, and we opened last Monday. So very, very exciting. So this essentially then is step one for someone who might be trying to face uh, getting out of an addictive situation. Certainly. Step one We have seven recliners. They can relax, stay up to 23 hours, get showered, change into scrubs, be monitored by our staff. And then the end result is we want to link them as quickly as possible to services. Okay. And this is obviously a step that we didn't have here in Calhoun County before, and now we do. We did not. We did not. So the Recovery Center is is a newer concept. There are a few across the state of Michigan um, in terms of a social detox center. All right. And when we come back in a minute, we'll understand what a recovery coach does and uh, how they work through this process, too, and what their role is. That's coming up shortly on 95.3 WBCK. Ninety five point three WBCK. We're here today with some folks from the new Summit Point Recovery Center. Ron Henson and Loretta Robb are recovery coaches there on the job for about a week now. All right, let's find out. What is a recovery coach? Either one of you wants to start with that. Well, a recovery coach is someone who has overcome active addiction and um, provides hope to those who are still practicing active addiction and links them to services that will assist them through the recovery process, um, whether it be uh, connecting, connecting them to um, resources, um, help them to develop coping skills, mm-hmm. um, basically just walk them through the process of recovery. This is, I presume, Ron, tremendously important when uh, someone is facing uh, this kind of a situation, which... Um, at least we've been led to believe is very difficult to say, okay, I'm going to do this. I presume someone who understands the path is tremendously key here, right? Yes, that's very true. I've been in recovery for five years now, and I know it's a hard thing, and most people don't have that a person to talk to. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people don't understand what an addict is or addiction itself. So to have someone that's been out there and has experienced everything that they're going through, is able to help them a lot better. And they learn to trust them a little bit more right. than they would anyone else. Yeah, they uh, they understand that you've gone through that. Yes. So you just said something interesting that a lot of folks don't understand what addiction is. What is it? Let's let's hear it. Addiction is that person that you may have raised from a baby, their whole attitude, their whole being has changed because they're addicted to some type of substance. It takes over. Mm-hmm. They're no longer that person that you once raised. So the... A lot of parents don't understand that, and they don't know what exactly what to do. Mm-hmm. We, we've seen that 
dramatized on television and discussed at length that uh, there are some folks who, who don't understand that who say, why, why can't you just stop? It's not that way, is it? That sounds very easy, but no, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a, a way of life that is very hard to break from. You know, it's very hard to break from. So you have to have someone that understands and been out there that can show them that there is hope, that you don't have to live like that any longer. Shannon, why can't they just stop? Addiction is a disease. A lot of people don't acknowledge that or understand that. Mm -hmm. Addiction affects the prefrontal cortex of the brain. It affects behaviors. It affects everything, like Ron said, that they have learned. And the drug then enters their system and their senses are, are different. So the brain becomes used to that. And just stopping is not an easy thing to do. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of withdrawal, a lot of pain, emotional and physical pain. And we really do need to get the word out that people can't just stop. They, they need the supports. They need the help. They need the Rons and Loretta's that have been through this. So we've partnered with the emergency department and, um, Chief Blocker and his staff, and we're really hoping this is another avenue that people can start their journey, get the help they need, and live a happy, successful life drug-free. Mm -hmm. Loretta, this isn't easy, right? I mean, um, in addition to what Shannon said, uh, you're, you're not, you're now consumed by the addiction, um, and stopping is hard, but you also become consumed with maintaining the addiction, right? Absolutely. Once you, um, once you engage in active addiction, your morals, your values, your belief systems, everything that you were taught just goes out the window. Um, you can no longer function um, like a, a person that would not be using. Um, everything that you loved and care about don't even matter anymore. Your next step and the next action would be just to get that next that next fix. And right. um, not only that, the lifestyle that comes along with active addiction is even more difficult to let go of. Um, it becomes a way of life. You It gets to the point where you know nothing else and you don't know how to get back. Um, it's just, it's horrific with the, um, with the change and trying to understand how to get back to the to live in without the use of drugs and mm -hmm. alcohol. Um, so, Ron, how often are you in touch then with someone with whom you're working at the recovery center? Are you talking to them daily, every 15 minutes? I mean, how, how does that work? Well, as a recovery coach, I have I see people every day, yeah, every single day, at least twice a week for most of them because that's an ongoing thing. You just can't see them once in a while. Uh, recovery is, is, is very difficult, man. It's very hard. And that lifestyle, like Loretta was saying, is so captivating to most. I mean, the money, the fast life, and what they think is luxury and fame and all that, it's just it's a mirage. Hmm. So it's hard to break all of that. So I, I see my people at least twice a week. And some people have to go through this a few times, don't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not, all, it's not, a, it's not a easy. It's not really an easy thing to do. It's something that you have to really have your mind set to do. And it's very hard to change everything that you know to something new. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to change. Nobody likes change. That's a very difficult task. But it can be done. We're sitting here to let you know it can be done. What I used to think was fun <laughs> and all that bright lights and stuff, man, was I so wrong. Hmm. We're talking with some folks from the Summit Point Recovery Center, open for about a week now in Battle Creek. And we'll come back in just a minute and pick up where we leave off. In fact, you know, one of the most... Uh, impressive things about this problem are the statistics, and we'll get an update on that coming up in just a moment. 95.3 WBCK. A few more minutes with Shannon Roberts, Ron Henson, and Loretta Robb. They're here from the Summit Point Recovery Center, just opened in Battle Creek. And if you've listened regularly, you understand there's a there's an overdose epidemic going on. That's not my word. That's the word of the professionals in Battle Creek. And now a recovery center uh, will help to combat those statistics. In fact, 
Um, there was an occasion when Chief Blocker was here, and, and he made the assertion that uh, if a police officer in Battle Creek encounters someone uh, who is close to or in the throes of an overdose, it may not have been clear how to handle that situation in terms of how to get that person help. And then they may re-encounter that person again. And so they identified this gap uh, in the community that now is being served by the Summit Point Recovery Center, a place where these first steps can be taken. And uh, Shannon, you were, were making the point a moment ago that uh, the recovery coaches from whom we've heard today, Ron and, and Loretta, are busy. They this, are very busy. And they're helping the Summit Point Recovery Center as part of the, uh, a job they already have. They are. Ron and Loretta are community-based coaches, so they've been with us uh, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So starting this center, they've offered to help. They're working shifts. Um we do monitor the customers at the recovery center constantly. So we have a team of people there. They are they are monitored. They aren't just put in a room and then, you know, okay, we'll see you in 12 hours. You know, hope <laughs> right. everything's great. No, they're monitored constantly. They are, you know, fed and given drinks and they have a warm, cozy chair with a blanket. And we really want to make them comfortable. We worked really hard on making the recovery center inviting and we want them to be comfortable and say, wow, I want to work with these people. Mm -hmm. These people are giving me some hope. They, they've, they've been through it. All right. Um, we were talking a moment ago about the statistics in 2016, there were 147 heroin overdoses uh, in uh, Calhoun County, 89 overdoses from other opiates. Those are huge numbers, and you probably have numbers that are more current than that. I do. Um, Dawn Smith from the Substance Abuse Council sent out the most recent statistics through the end of February, Richard, and pretty, pretty high. Mm -hmm. um, we've had 49 heroin overdoses and 17 other opiate overdoses that have been reported so that we actually know about for sure hmm. these were drug related. Mm -hmm. And that was in February. January and February. Okay, so that's through the total. Yes. So we don't have marches quite in yet since we're still in the midst, but um yeah, 49 heroin and 17 other Okay, and you make an interesting point that those are the ones you know about, and I think Chief Blocker said that too with us, that sometimes folks are under the radar with this. They are. It's pretty amazing to imagine that someone could be encountering an overdose and not it not come up somewhere. How does that happen? It's not, they don't seek medical treatment or... From what, from discussions we've had with the hospital and yeah. with other agencies, I think... Sometimes medically deaths are ruled um, differently. So they're maybe not ruled specifically as a drug overdose. They may not know. It may present as a cardiac issue or mm. another issue. So, I, you know, I think it's in, in medical terms a difficult sometimes to determine. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, before we go, Ron and Loretta, someone might be listening to this who is addicted now or knows someone who is, and uh, they may not yet know if they're ready to take this step, what would you say to them? I think I would say that recovery is possible, and there is people that are willing to help and advocate and um, Change is definitely possible, and we do have services that will um, help you go through that process. Agree with that, Ron? Uh, yes, I do. And uh, they just take a look at their lives and see how much fun they think they're having. They'll realize it's not that much fun. We are here to help. We know what it feels like. We've been through that pain, the agony, the, the degradation, all mm -hmm. of that. We've been through that. We're just here to help. We want to give back. All right, and so if someone hears this, Shannon, and they, they want this help, they can just walk in, right? They can walk in. The recovery center is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Staff will be there. Um, the address is 215 East Roosevelt Avenue. 
And the phone number is 441-6060. 441-6060. Partnering with the emergency department at times, walk-ins, um, we'll, we'll see you no matter, no matter what. Okay. Sounds like just what we needed. Uh, a team ready to help, and, and here you are representing that team. Thanks to the three of you today for all the work you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. All right. Summit Point Recovery Center.